here's how to diagnose an exhaust leak in your car. So if your car makes a lot more noise than it used to, something in before it gets to the muffler, something's leaking. So what you want to do is fire up your car and listen and see if you can echolocate, like if it's coming from here, which would be the exhaust manifold gasket, or you know down here in the catalytic converter area, and then maybe even under your car, maybe there's a hole in the pipe or in the junction in the pipe between the engine and the muffler. So first step I'll usually take is just eyeball it, see if I see anything weird. Now I paid a guy to fix this car a couple of years ago, and the weird thing that I see here is that there's a bolt missing that's supposed to be holding my exhaust manifold gasket on. And if I stick my finger in there, I can kind of wiggle the gasket material. So I think he either uh, like torqued it too much, taking it off or putting it on and broke the bolt in there or just forgot to put it on. So if you've got that, if you've got a missing bolt head like I do, um, I take a piece of weed whacker string and stick it in the hole and just see how far it can go. In my case, it goes about this far, but if it only goes barely in there, then that means there's a bolt in there that you'll have to take out. Most mechanics, when they break your, well, not most mechanics, but I've, I've seen it happen where if they break one of them off, they just uh, put it on using the other ones and put some you know, glue or Permatex stuff in there to kind of stop it because they're working by the hour and they don't want to fix it properly. To fix it properly, you'd have to drill it out and pull the old bolt out of there and then uh, insert a new bolt. So in my case, that's the problem. Then there's a junction underneath this heat shield. There's a junction between the catalytic converter and the exhaust manifold that could be leaking. And then under the car, as it goes back to the, uh, the muffler, you want to jack it up and just get under there and look for any holes where it might be leaking. Uh, but before you do all that, of course, you want to listen. And if you listen really carefully, then you can find out where the noise is coming from. And if it's you know, if there's a lot of noise going on and you can't figure out where it's coming from, you can get an old empty paper towel tube and stick it in your ear and then just point it to various parts of the engine until you find the loud spot. So I hope that helps a little bit. That's not how to fix it, but more how to diagnose it. All right, in my case, all of the bolts that were holding the exhaust manifold on were really loose. I think probably the guy that I paid to replace this a couple years ago uh, didn't do a final torque down of the bolts when he put the whole engine back together and they eventually got loose enough where that one fell out and the other ones were super loose and making noise. So um, this is an aluminum head so the torque value is 20 pounds per square inch in case anybody else has one of these Ford Focuses. And that's it. I hope this helps some of you out there at least figure out what's wrong with your car. Uh, it doesn't hurt to get the, the torque values from the manufacturer and just try torquing it down again if the manifold's making noise that might help. In my case it fixes it. Alright, now my car is so quiet I can hear my wheel bearings starting to go out.